Welcome everyone to the Virtual Excel Academy. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. From wherever you are, we're with you too. Hi everybody. Can you wave to me? I wish I could see all of you wave back. I'm waving to you to say hello. My name is Fluffy Buttercup and I'm going to be your host today. It's so nice to see everybody with us today. We have a very special day with Time for Talks and with me is Cheryl. Hello Cheryl. Hello Buttercup. I'm so glad you're here to join us today. We also have some hostesses with us. Hi Charlotte. Hi everyone. Welcome. We're glad you're here. Who's your friend, Charlotte? This is Rolo the kitty, and this is Badger the badger. Hi, Badger. Hello, Rolo. And we also have Leanne with us today. Hi, Leanne. Hello, I have Busy B who's joined me. Hello, Busy. Hello. And we have really exciting special guests back again for a second time. We have Deanna, Renee, Kathy, and Mary. Welcome ladies from Texas School for the Blind. We're so glad you're here to join us with Time for Tots. We'll let you all take it away. Hi everybody, we're back again and we are so excited to be here. Today is Friday, May 1st, so happy May Day. Um, we want to take just a minute to tell everybody out there hello again. So if you can take just a second and put your name and your age in the chat. We aren't going to be able to talk to everybody, but we wanted to tell as many people and many as many friends out there as we can hello. So I see that Heather is here and Jessica is here. We have some teachers with us. We have Anne and she's the mother of a four year old. There is Robin Wolf, she's a, a teacher. And we have Faith, I just emailed Faith a minute ago about her, her kiddo. There's Aloha, hi friends from Heather and Thomas. We've got a lot of teachers out there. Renee, I'm so sorry to interrupt. I forgot to tell our friends at home what we need to have for today. Okay. Can I tell them? Yes, ma'am. Please do. Okay, friends. We have some special projects today. So if you have a plate, we would love to grab a plate. I just have a paper plate. If I showed you the other side, you might laugh. It says, Happy Halloween. And I know it's not Halloween. It's the only plate I could find. But if you have a plate at home, it would be really nice for you to get a flexible paper plate that you can bend in half. Also, if you have any beans or macaroni and rice, I brought myself a little measuring cup. This is a quarter cup and it shakes. Can you all hear that? You want a rattle like that. And also, if you have a box, now my box is really giant. It's big enough for me to climb inside. Hello friends, and climb out of. So if you have a box or a laundry basket, you would need one of those as well. So as you come in and say hello, if you can go and gather your things, that would be also really terrific. Sorry, Renee, for interrupting. I'll let you go from here. No, thank you so much th for helping this out this morning. It's about teamwork. So we all need to chip in together. So I'm Miss Renee, and I brought some friends with me again today, and I'm going to go around and let them introduce themselves, and then we're going to get started with our day. And they want to uh, share along uh, with us and some fun activities. So take it away, Kathy and Mr. Keegan. Hi, this is Kathy. And back. this is Keegan, and this is Diver Diver. And this is Diver. We're back again. We're going to do some more fun songs and do a demo at the end of a cool, fun project. But for now, we're going to send it over to Miss Mary to say hello. Hi, everybody. It's Miss Mary. I'm so happy and excited to be here with you today. We're going to play a game together in just a little bit. 
But right now, I want to introduce you to my friend, Ms. Deanna. She's going to talk about our calendar for today and all the things that we're going to do. So take it away, Ms. Deanna. Hi, friends. I have our calendar here. It's Ms. Deanna. I don't know if you remember, last time we were together, we had a calendar. Do you remember what a calendar does? Why do we use calendar? I bet you remember. One thing a calendar helps us do is to know, I mean, what, I wonder if anyone in your family has a calendar. Today, I'm gonna to show you right now what's on our calendar. We have one, two, three, four, five things on our calendar. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to have a hello song. We're gonna sing a hello song. I have a picture of a hand waving hello and I have a card that has in print the letters H-E-L-L-O. That spells hello. Put that back on our calendar. Right up here at the top. The next thing on our calendar says poem. This is a picture of a piece of paper with some writing on it. A poem is kind of like a book, but much shorter. And sometimes the words rhyme. Poem is spelled P-O-E-M. Put those back on our calendar. Okay, the third thing on our calendar says, can you read that? There's a picture, picture of two children dancing. What we're gonna use this picture to mean is game. We're gonna play a game. G-A-M-E, game. Let's see, put these back on our calendar. The fourth, fourth thing in our calendar, I'll bet you know what that is. If you can see it, it's a picture of a book. And the word says story. S-T-O-R-Y. Story. Good job. Okay. The very last thing on our calendar And Miss Kathy will help us with this. She sang our goodbye, our hello song last time, and she sang our goodbye song. It's a picture of a hand waving goodbye and the word goodbye. G O O D B Y E. Goodbye. Okay, you remember what's first? Here we go, are you ready? Ready for our hello song. Take it away, Miss Kathy. All right, here we are. Let's see. Um, all right, you ready, Keegan? So last time we sang our hello song, we used these egg shaker maracas, and today we have something different to use, don't we? Yeah, but it's not a maraca. It's not a maraca? What are you gonna call it? No, I said it's another. Oh, it's another kind of maraca. It is. This is a another kind of. It's a hand maraca. It's a paper plate um, shaker is another name for it. And we're going to use these. And at the end, we're going to show you how we make them. All right, you ready to sing the hello song? Yeah. All right. Here's Keegan and I. We're going to do the hello song. You got your shaker? All right. One, two. So what we're going to do actually is we're going to sing it one time through and see if you remember it. And if you don't, that's okay, because we're going to sing it a second time through so you can sing it with us. All right, so here we go. Hello to our friends and hello to my family too. We're going to have a great day. We'll start it off with a great big smile. We'll start it off with a great big smile. Hello to our friends and hello to our family too. We're going to have a great day and we'll start it off with a great big clap. Start it off with a great big clap. Clap. 
Hello to our friends and hello to our family too. We're going to have a great day. We'll start it off with a body shake. We'll start it off with a body shake. Oh, that diaper's really shaking. You ready? Hello to our friends and hello to our families too. We're going to have a great day and we'll start it off with a yahoo. We'll start it off with a yahoo. Thank you for helping me. We're going to do it one more time. Thank you for singing along with us. We're going to do it one more time so that you can sing along with us this time. Are you ready, Kay? All right, here we go. Is, I'm not is, Kay. You're not Kay? Is Diver ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. He's always light. Okay. Hello to our friends and hello to our families too. We're going to have a great day and we'll start it off with a great big smile. Why didn't you get your favorite snuggles? Oh, I can go get one in a little bit. Okay. I'll go get it for you. We'll start it off with a great big smile. I'm going to keep singing. Okay. Hello to our friends and hello to our families too. We're going to have a great day and we'll start it off with a great big clap. We'll start it off with a great big clap. Hello to our friends and hello to our families too. We're going to have a great day and we'll start it off with a body shake. We'll start it off with a body shake. The last oh, verse, are you ready? No. Come on. I want you to do it three times. Hello to our no. friends and hello to our families too. We're going to have a great day and we'll start it off with a yahoo. We'll start it off with a yahoo. All right, we are going to, thank you for singing with us. We're gonna turn it over to Miss Deanna to check our calendar. Take it away. That was great singing, you guys. I love that song, Hello to My Friends and Hello to My Family Too. I'm gonna take the Hello song and the Hello picture off our calendar and put them inside our finished envelope. Do you remember what's next? Let me show you, see if that helps you remember. Do you remember? The next thing on our calendar says poem. Miss Renee's gonna read us a poem. Take it away, Miss Renee. Hi, it's Miss Renee again. And just like Miss Deanna said, I'm gonna read you a poem. And poems are not always as long as books. Sometimes they look different on a page because sometimes the words don't all go all the way to the end. Poems can have rhymes in them and poems are usually shorter than, than books and stories are. So we're gonna read a poem. Um, poems also have titles and they have authors just like books and other stories do. So the title of our poem today is called Tommy Thumb. And I'm going to do it one time by myself, and you can listen with your ears. Put your, put your um, thinking cap on and your listening ears on, and I'm going to go through the poem with you, and then we're going to go back, and we're going to do it together. Um, moms and dads, this is a really, really good time to um, do what we call hand under hand with your child. Um, we tend to um, take our children's hands and move them onto a book or hand put their hand on something and we like to use a technique called hand under hand so if your child's hand is here you would just take your hand and slide it under their hand and show them something that's in front of them or to the left or to the right that way they learn how their body moves in space because they feel how your body is moving it helps them build some confidence in themselves and it, it helps with bonding with families. So we really encourage all families, brothers, sisters, moms, dads, aunts, uncles, everybody. When we're working with our child with a visual impairment, put your hand under their, under their hand and, and move their hands with them. And, and it allows them to take their hands away if they want to. And if you have a baby, you can do exactly the same thing. You can just take your finger and put it under that baby's hand and let that baby follow you while you're doing things. You can put it on their bottle, you can tap, tap them on the leg. Um, it's just a really, really good technique. So this is a good chance 
um, to practice that. So if your child is sitting next to you or maybe on the floor, it's a good time to practice a little hand under hand while we do this poem. So we're gonna go back to our poem called Tommy Thumb. I want all you guys to show me your thumbs. I have two thumbs. I have my right thumb and I have my left thumb. Everybody hold your thumbs up. Thumbs can wiggle around. They can make circles. They can kind of touch each other and talk. Say, hi thumb, hi thumb, how are you? I'm good, everything's fine. So our poem says, Tommy Thumb is up and Tommy Thumb is down. Tommy Thumb is dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulders. Everybody put your thumbs on your shoulders and touch your shoulders. Dance them on your head. Maybe it's the front of your head, maybe it's the back. Dance them on your knees. Everybody find your knees. My knees are way down here beneath the camera. You can't see them. And then tuck them into bed. And I took my thumbs and I put them under my arms and I put them to bed. So they're under my arms. Did everybody get a chance to do that? Was that pretty fun? Let's try it again. You ready? What was the title of our poem? What was the name of our poem? Can somebody out there help me? It was, I think it was about thumbs. It was Tommy Thumb. That was it. Tommy Thumb is up. Hold your thumbs up. Tommy Thumb is down. I pointed my thumbs toward the ground. Tommy Thumb is dancing. Now I'm just moving my thumbs around all around the town. Dance them on your shoulders. My thumbs are touching my shoulders and bouncing all around. Dance them on your head. Dance them on your knees and tuck them into bed. That is the end of our poem. Poems have titles and poems have authors, but I don't know who the author of this poem was. I couldn't find it. So I don't know who wrote it, but I sure am glad they did because I really like this little poem. Well, I think it's time to go back and check our calendar and see what's next. Take it away, Miss Deanna. I like that poem too. All right, I'm gonna grab our symbols, our words and our pictures. There it is, poem. I'm gonna put those in, here it is. Here's our envelope. This is where I'm putting things that are finished. There they go. Okay, we finished the first thing and the second thing on our calendar. Let me see if this helps you remember what's coming up next. G A M E. Do you remember what that spells? Yeah, it's a game. Miss Mary is going to play a game with us. Take it away, Miss Mary. Hi, everybody. It's Miss Mary here. And just like Miss Deanna said, we're going to play a game. We're going to play a really, really fun listening game called Simon Says. And I know a lot of you may have played that game already. That might sound kind of familiar, but some of you may, ha may have not. And that's okay, because I'm gonna tell you how to do it. So grownups, if, um, if there's a small toy or um, a stuffed animal close by in a box of any kind, I have a small box here that I'm gonna be using. A laundry basket's fine too. Go ahead and grab that for your child and that'll be fantastic. Okay. So before we actually start playing the game, I wanted to practice a little bit for those of you have, who haven't ever played before, okay? So it goes like this. If I say, Simon says, put your arms up, you're going to put your arms up, okay? But only if I say Simon says. If I don't say Simon says first, then you're going to stay frozen, okay? You're going to stay really still and frozen. So let's practice just a little bit, okay? So if I say Simon says, put your arms up, you're going to put your arms up. And when I say Simon says, put your arms down, you're going to put your arms back down, okay? The understanding? Okay, cool. So if I say Simon says, put your arms in front of you, you're going to put your arms out in front of you and reach. You're going to reach out in front of you 
And when I say Simon says, put your arms behind you, you're going to put your arms back behind your back, behind your body, okay? Okay. And then the fun part starts. We're going to use our toy, okay? And let's practice with our toy. I have my toy, ba toy bear named Billy. That's hard to say. This is a, a brown stuffed animal. He has a black fuzzy nose, and he's really, really kind of cuddly and soft. So I'm going to use him. So if I were to say, Simon says, put your toy out in front of you, you're going to reach out and hold your toy out in front of you. And when I say, Simon says, put your toy behind you, it's going to go behind you just like that. Okay. And when I say, Simon says, put your toy beside you, I'm going to put Billy right beside me here, but you can just put him right next to you, put your toy right next to you. Okay. And if I say, Simon says, put your toy in the box, you're going to put your toy in your box, okay? And when I say, Simon says, take your toy out of the box, you're going to take your toy out of the box. And it's okay if you want to get in the box, if you have a big box or a laundry basket to get in and out of, um, go ahead and do that too. That would be a lot of fun. Okay, so remember, we're about to start playing for real. I don't say Simon says before I give you those directions then stay still and really frozen okay all right so moms and dads you can play too brothers and sisters or you can help your child either way okay ready here we go Simon says raise your arms up did you raise your arms up good 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 Simon says put your arms down you put your arms down because Simon said, good job, good job. Simon says, reach your arms out in front of you. Good. Now put your arms behind you. <gasps> Are you still frozen or did you put your arms behind you? Oh, did I, did I trick you? Okay, if your arms are behind you, Simon says, put your arms in your lap. Okay, now we're going to use our, our toy. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my Billy, my bear Billy. Okay, so Simon says, put your toy beside you. Simon says, put your toy behind you. Put your toy behind you. Okay, we're going to be silly. Ready? Simon says, put your toy over your head. Put your toy over your head. Put your toy down. <gasps> Are you still frozen? Is it still over your head or did you put your toy down? Remember, Simon didn't say that time, but that's okay. We're just having fun. Okay, here's the, our last couple of ones. Ready? Simon says, put your toy in the box, inside the box. There we go. And take your toy out. Is you, are you, did you say frozen? Is your toy still in the box? Or did you take your toy out? Did you listen for Simon Says? I didn't say Simon Says, did I? Okay, Simon Says, take your toy out of the box. Nicely done, nicely done. All right, well guys, that's all I have today, but you know what? You can keep playing this game any time of the day. A laundry basket, a big box, you know, you can, you can practice getting in and out of the box, you can hold it over your head and be silly, and then you'll be under the box. Parents, it's really easy just to throw in those directional and positional concepts with, with really just simple games like this that you can play any time of the day. Hope y'all had fun. I'm gonna Send it back over to Deanna so we can see what's next on our calendar. Take it away, Deanna. Thanks, Miss Mary. That was fun. We played a game. Let me show you your picture and your word. Do you remember the name of that game? Simon Says. That was fun. Thanks, Mary. Here's my envelope. Got my envelope 
where I'm putting all my finished words and pictures. Okay, that was one, two, three. Three things on our calendar are finished. The fourth thing on our calendar is a picture of a book. And the word is spelled S-T-O-R-Y. What could that word be? Story. Story. Good job. All right. Miss Renee is going to read us a story. So I'm going to send it back to her. Take it away, Miss Renee. Thanks, Miss Deanna and Miss Mary. Miss Mary, you tricked me a couple of times. I had to, had to really listen to that Simon Says game because sometimes I didn't freeze when I should have. So that was a lot of fun. Thank you. So I am going to read a story because that's what's next from our calendar. And the story that we're going to read today is called Great Day for Up. And books have titles. Who can tell me another word for, the, for title? What does title mean? What's another word for title? How about the name? It's the name of our book. The title or the name of our book is Great Day for Up. And books have authors. And what does author mean? Who is an author? What do they do? Hmm. An author is the person that wrote it. And the author of our book today is by Dr. Seuss. I love Dr. Seuss. He is one of my favorite authors in the whole wide world. So I'm going to read the story and I'm going to read a page and then I'm going to put the picture in the camera so you guys can see it. And we'll talk about it as we go along and I'll try to tell you what some of the pictures are. Great day for up and it's a great day in the Texas Hill Country and I think it's a great day for up that story about it. So great day for up. The frog is on the word up. It says up, up. The sun is getting up. The sun comes up every morning, doesn't it? The sun gets up, so up with you. There's a picture of a bunny laying there and he looks sleepy and lazy. It says up, ear number one, ear number two. So that bunny's trying to get his ears up. Get moving. Turn the page. Up heads, up whiskers, tails. Up, up, great day today. Great day for up. And there's those little bunnies are jumping all around. The sun is shining. They're hopping all over. Their whiskers are moving. Where are those bunnies' whiskers? Whiskers are on their face. Dogs and cats have whiskers too. Turn the page. Up, up, you! Open up your eyes. You worms, you frogs, you butterflies. So the book has pictures of some frogs that are happy. There's butterflies moving around and flying. Everybody needs to get up. Up whales, up snails, up rooster, hen, up girls and women, boys and men. There's the rooster. That's a chicken. And there's a hen. She's sitting right there. That's where eggs come from, chickens. And there's boys and men's and men and they're happy. And there's boys and girls waving their hands up in the air. We're gonna turn the page. Great day for up feet, left and right. And up, up, baseballs, footballs, and kites. They're flying kites in the park. Their feet are in the air. I think they're pretty happy. I think they're happy at sunshiny. Great day to sing up on a wire. Up! Up voices, louder, higher. 
And there's all those birds flying around. Some of them are sitting on the, on the wires on the telephone poles. Upstairs, up ladders, up on stilts. Great day for up Mount Dillamadilts. So they're climbing ladders. They're climbing up a mountain. I bet you they're hot and tired. I bet when they get to the top of that mountain, they'll be ready for something to drink. Everybody's doing ups on bikes and trees and buttercups. What's a buttercup? A buttercup is a yellow flower. Really pretty. Everybody's up on something. Up, up. Waiters, alligators, up folks, up in elevators. Elevators, those are, that's faster than taking the stairs, isn't it? You have to get inside and push a button, go all the way up to a different floor in a building. Up, up giraffes, great day for seals. Great day for up on Ferris wheels. I think maybe they went to the zoo or to a park. See, they're riding around on some of the rides at the amusement park. Up, 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 fill up the air, up flags, balloons, up everywhere. Everybody's doing something in the balloon. There's that word, up, 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 up. Great day for up. Wake up every person, pig and pup, till everyone on earth is up. And it looks like everyone on earth is up. Wow. Oh, except for me. Please go away. No up. I'm sleeping in today. So there's a little boy and he wants everybody to wake up, but he didn't want to wake up. He is snuggled down in the bed still. What a wonderful story. I love Dr. Seuss. What could be another word for the word great? Instead of great day for up, what other word could you use? Can somebody out there help me? Hmm. I think you could, oh, thank you, Josephina. She says, fantastic. So this story could say, fantastic day for up. Can somebody think of another word that might be good that means the same thing as great? Oh, you could say beautiful, beautiful day for up. Yeah, I like that. You know what my word is? Stupendous. It's a stupendous day for up. There, sometimes you can have lots of words that kind of mean the same thing, but it gives you a different feeling when you're reading a book. So this was our book. I think I'm gonna stretch my arms up and stretch a little bit. And then I'm going to put my book up on the shelf. Oh man. Well, I can't remember what we were supposed to do next. I think there's something we were supposed to do. I think, I think I have friends out there with me, but I don't remember. Is there something that I can do that will help me know what I'm supposed to do next? What can I use to help me know what comes next? Who out there can give me a hand with that? What could I use? Hmm. What do you guys think? Ah, I know, I remember. It's a calendar and Miss Deanna is the person that's doing our calendar. So I'm gonna send it over to Miss Deanna. Thanks, Miss Renee. I really enjoyed listening to that book, A Great Day for Up. Dr. Seuss, he is one of my favorite authors too. I love him so much. I drew this silly picture of Dr. <laughs> Seuss. <laughs> okay, let's see. On our calendar, we had the picture 
of a book and the word story. I'm gonna put those inside. Whoa, I dropped it inside my finished envelope. There's one more thing on our calendar. We had five. One, two, three, four are all gone. The fifth thing on our calendar is a big long word. There's a picture of a hand waving and that big long word spells goodbye. Miss Kathy is going to sing our goodbye song with Keegan. Take it away, Kathy and Keegan. Here we are. We're back. There you are, Keegan. And here's Diver. And thank you so much for bringing my snuggle to the show. His, this is Hippo, and he's big and squishy. And why does Mommy have a Hippo snuggle? Because Hippo's my favorite animal. Because Hippo's my favorite animal, that's right. And ah! I I really like this guy. Are you did you are you ready to um sing the goodbye song? Yeah. Tell everybody goodbye. All right. No, hold on. First we need to make our shaker. Oh, you know what? You are right. We haven't made our shaker yet. We're gonna do that after the goodbye song in case some of the kids need to take a break, okay? All right, so which shaker are you gonna use in the goodbye song? The one that we made the first time or the ones that we made for this time? Uh, none. None? Okay. I'm gonna use my snuggle. You're gonna sing with your snuggle? Okay, you ready? La, we're gonna la, sing la, it. La, we, la, la. We're gonna sing it again two times through just in case you need to sing it twice. If you don't remember it from last time, that's okay. We're gonna sing it once and help you remember and then we're gonna sing it again. You ready, Keegan? Oh. All right, two, three, four. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to me, goodbye to you, goodbye to me. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Okay, one more time, you ready? Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to me, goodbye to you, goodbye to me, goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Keegan and I will be right back in a few minutes to show you a really cool project that we did. But for now, we're going to send it over to Miss Mary to say her goodbye. Take it away. Hi again, it's Miss Mary. I wanted to say goodbye. Thanks for playing a game with me. See you next time. Take it away, Deanna. Hi, friends. The last thing on our calendar was our goodbye song. I'm going to put that in our finished envelope. And remember, calendars are a great thing to help us remember what's going to happen. Some people have calendars that tell them what's going to happen today. Some people have calendars that tell them what will happen this week. Some people have calendars that can help them remember all month. I'll bet someone in your family has a calendar and you can have one too. You're never too little to have a calendar. Yours might have pictures, might have words in print or braille, might have tactile symbols or real objects but every calendar is a wonderful tool to help you know what's coming up and what's finished. Okay, Miss Renee, take it away. And bye guys, I had such a good time with you today. Hi everyone, we wanted to thank you so much for letting us join you today. We have had a wonderful time and um, partnering with everybody at Paz to Literacy has just been fantastic. We're going to stay around a little bit longer. Um, Kathy and Keegan have uh, a little make it take it for you. And then we will be here. Um, if you have any questions that we can answer for you, or if you just want to send us some uh, feedback, that'd be great. Um, I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves so you kind of know um, who we are in real life. 
I'm Renee Ellis and I'm the Infant Early Childhood Consultant at, in the Outreach Department at TSBBI in Austin. Miss Deanna? Hi, I'm Deanna Peterson. I'm on the Texas DeafBlind Project as the DeafBlind Early Childhood Consultant. So um, I typically uh, work with children and young adults who are DeafBlind and I'm happy to be here um, with all of you today. Yeah, Mary. Hi, I'm Mary Shore, and I also work at TSPVI Outreach with these guys, and I am, in, am an orientation and mobility specialist, and I focus on early childhood. So thanks so much for letting me join you guys today. I had a lot of fun, and I'm going to hand it over to Kathy to introduce herself. I'm Kathy Garza, and I uh, work at Texas School for the Blind, also in the outreach department. I'm the family engagement coordinator, but uh, in the past, I've worked with students as well on campus uh, from all over the state. So thanks so much for joining us. And so now I think Keegan and I are going to, we're going to do our, our demo for of a shaker. Of a shaker, that's right. So Keegan, what, what do the people in, in, um, the audience out there in YouTube land, what do they need to make one of these shakers that we made? Uh, one third cup and ma some macaroni. Some macaroni, and dry. Andy. Is it cooked? No. No. Why no. isn't it cooked? Because because if it's not if it's cooked, it won't make any noise. Oh, I got you. Okay, cool. Good. See, because when it's like this, it makes a lot of noise. Yeah, lots of noise. All right, so we need some macaroni, you said. And also you need to get a plate and, a plate and decorate it. A plate, it. okay, so that's right. So you need a paper plate, you need some macaroni, okay. and you need something to make it stick together, right? Hot glue. Hot glue, because what happens if you put the macaroni and you just start shaking it? The macaroni goes everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's gonna go everywhere. And what is mommy gonna do? Oh no. And she's going to clean it up by herself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so what? Because last time I cleaned up the beans she spilled. That's right. Last <laughs> time I spilled some beans and Keegan helped me clean them up. So what are the steps to making this project? What's step one? You go all the way through step one. Step four. Okay. What's step one? Tell uh, the people. Get a plate. And do what with it? Step two. No, step one is. Look. Oh, okay. Step two, decorate it. Oh, decorate it. Okay, so Keegan's decorated his plate. He used ninja stamps. stamps, ninja stamps and Batman stamps and some stickers and some tape that's, you can, that's shiny and you can also feel it and some little sticky foams that are also shiny. So you can add, on this other one he made, we added pom-poms for, to, for texture and this colored tape. So you can and we already made this one. Mm -hmm. So if it if it's not baked, it makes this much noise. Yeah. If it's baked, it goes blump. Okay, blump, so blump, blump. step one is get your plate. Step two is decorate it. What's step three? Step three is put macaroni. Okay, can you do that? Or do you want me to do that? I so you're going to measure. So this is a good way to practice measuring and scooping. What does it feel like to, to measure out and to scoop? A lot of students I work with, they just put the cup in the top and they don't understand that you have to fill this measuring cup. So um, the measurement's not step, super important. It's step, just using a measuring cup. So that's step three. Put the macaroni in. Okay. So hold on. Let me show them. It's in our plate. In it, step four, you hot glue it together. Okay, hold on. Let's wait. Let's hot glue. Do you want me to do it or are you going to do it? Okay. So we're okay. using a low temp glue gun and I'm just going to help him hand under hand put glue on it. And we're going to put glue all around the edge. You're going to help me do it? Okay. Good job. So we're going to kind of work a little quickly. Um, that, way it doesn't get cold. that way it doesn't get cold and we needed another stick so we got that we don't want the macaronis to fall out when we're doing this we are having some trouble with our glue gun today aren't we bud all right so let's see now what close it up watch your fingers because remember the glue is still warm and it could leak out 
How many times does mommy burn her fingers with the hot glue gun? Like seven. Like every single time we pull it out, right? <laughs> and one time my mom burned her tummy with it. Oh, yep, I did. Some squirted out on my shirt. Okay, what do you think? Yeah. So step five. Hi. Hi. Oh, but step five, wait for a oh. minute. Step, step five is to wait for a little minute. To Why do you need to wait? So it can get really glued on. Mm -hmm. What else could you use besides hot glue to make it stick together? Tape or, or regular glue, right? You could yeah. just do that, but then you'd really have to wait, right? Yeah, and step six, party! Party! Yay. Yeah, we also made one over here. You wanna say thanks? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Goodbye to my friends. Thank you, Keegan and Miss Kathy. That was fantastic. And I like the last part, party. Um, if you guys have any questions for us, we will be here another few minutes. I wanted to mention two things before I forget um, for parents and also for TVIs. Um, seedlings.org gives teachers uh, once a year, I think you get two free braille books and they come in um, uncontracted braille. They now are uh, available in UEB braille. Um, and then families are also, uh, can also sign up to seedlings, seedlings.org. I bet Charlotte would probably, there you go, she beat me to it. Um, and it's just a, a, a wonderful resource and they have everything from children's books all the way to, you know, uh, really wonderful literature for, for older children as well. The other resource that I really like besides Paths to Literacy and um, Seedlings is um, National Braille Press. And for families, you can register your child and it's really specifically uh, for littler guys, uh, zero to about five, but they will send the families a little book bag that has braille books in it. It has some manipulatives and the family can get one bag per child one time and it's free. And they're just, it's a wonderful little resource. And um, they, it's just, it's another great uh, little organization. So um, if you have, uh, any need for that there that's a good resource for you guys and i don't know if you know about it but there's also braille tales <clears throat> and i put the link in the chat as well braille tales is offered through aph uh, for uh, dual media braille for students i think it's under the age of six and if you are an adult who is visually impaired or blind and want to read to your student you can also get that and i think you get six books a year um, for that as well. So it's just another resource. Yeah. There, there are so many good resources out there. I wish, I wish more of that had been there when I had first started teaching. It would have, <laughs> would have really helped quite a bit. Um, and, and I think all of us on the team would just say, you know, the more you read to your child, the, the more, the better reader they will become. It's instilling that love of books and literacy and poems. It's never too early to start reading to your kids. Um, and it's just a, a great opportunity to have a little bonding time. They don't care if you're reading word for word. Um, a lot of times kids just need that rhythmicity of, of hearing what's going on. So um, just grab something, snuggle up and enjoy yourselves. I think that's probably it for us. I don't know. Do y'all want to keep how this works? Well, that's okay. I'm actually not seeing any questions coming in and we do not need to keep anyone any longer. This was built for our young ones and we know their attention span is not an hour. So <laughs> this was wonderful and I thank you so much and, and my bee will bounce in and out of boxes with me. And I was so, so, so busy covering my little shaker. I almost forgot about the time. Thank you for showing me how to make a maracas. That was my rainbow maracas. I'm Fluffy Buttercup. Thank you so much for joining us today for Time for Tots. And thank you, our wonderful team from TSBVI for joining us. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Let me just give you a preview of next week. We have some really exciting sessions coming up. The schedule is already up there. We have our first lesson on coding. 
So this will be a lot of fun. It is about code, like computer coding, the beginning concepts of coding. So join us on Monday if you're interested in learning how to code. And uh, also coming up, we have Great Apps to Live Our Best by Kate Cadillac. We, she is another returning presenter. We have our for another orientation and mobility lesson, Escape Rooms for Orientation and Mobility. Writing Your Own Quarantine Adventure ebook, Thursday, May 7. I don't know about you, I've been doing my own journaling and we've had some very interesting journaling sessions. So I would be love to hear about your journaling sessions too. And then on Friday, May 8, for some of you who enjoyed this session, you might also enjoy another story hour with Adam Wilton, who's gonna be doing light box stories. So we hope you can join us again next week. Bye for now, everybody. Bye, Buttercup. Bye. Bye, friends out there. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And in our house, we say, Fry! Yay! Have a good